Peace and blessings, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Harmony and Strength Show. Once again, our goal here is to promote health and well-being in the various areas of life and to educate and empower you with holistic information for optimum living. My name is uh, Brother Simbi. And uh, as we begin today, uh, well, let me give a shout out to my man, Haleen. You know, he's away on vacation, much needed vacation. Shout out to him. Hopefully he don't hurt nobody where he's at. <laughs> but um, so, you know, as we begin, we want to invite you to our Facebook page at Harmony and Strength. And make sure you visit our website, www.qualityheartbeats.com, and partake in some of our offerings for your optimum enjoyment for life. And right now, what I want to do is share with you our ad. Uh oh, let me let me do the screen share. About to mess that up again. Share screen. Bam. Oh shit. Hold up. There we go. I have a little technical difficulty. My my computer is doing a whole bunch of different stuff right now. Right. Just bear with me, folks. Bear with us. Bear with us. I'm trying to get this thing situated. All right. There. All right. There we go. Come experience the wonders of sweet and tight. We follow nature's way by going deep at the cellular level to pull toxins out of your body, leaving you fresh as spring. A freshness that carries the hypnotic fragrance of pheromones, producing a sweet surrender. When used regularly, this special blend of fruit extracts will allow you and your partner to enjoy the continued sweetness of your feminine nectar. Order now at www.qualityheartbeats.com. All right, tonight, our special guest once again, this is part two of the brother being here, our good brother Jabari Natur. How you feeling, my brother? Man, I'm just maintaining, good brother. Good brother, I appreciate it. Appreciate you having me on here tonight. Good, man. Look, it's our blessing and our pleasure and privilege. Hey, look, first, start us off with any contact information you got for people to contact you um, and, and get involved in any programs or, or services that you have going on. <coughs> no doubt. If you want to reach me, you can reach me at Daddy Watoto. That's D A D D Y um, Watoto, W A T O T O, at gmail.com. Daddy Watoto at gmail.com. You can get in touch with me right there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, Jabari Natur, tell us a little something. What, what, what's that name all about? What's the name all about? Man, you know, I got that name. Um, I was working at the most popular. Um, therapeutic everyone's place um, bookstore here in Baltimore City um, y'all don't know about that um, all over the country it's like one of the number one black owned bookstores around the country all over the world actually and I was working there and actually the sister Elijah uh, uh, during that time I just had my, my regular government name and I was working there probably about a month and the sister was like hey the African name Cause you know, I was in there, I was fired up. I was like about the revolution. I was about, you know, making stuff happen. And she was like, you just can't have that name. You gotta get a, you, gotta, you need a revolutionary name. And you know, she went through some name books right then and there. Cause she worked on the bottom floor. I worked on the top floor. And so she said, look, um, she started going through the thing and she flipped through, she said a couple names, whatever. And then it was like, well, how about Jabari? It means brave. <laughs> you know, 
and she said, you like that, Jabari? I was like, um, it's cool. And she was like, okay, from now on, your name's Jabari. Okay, we got <laughs> Just like that, huh? Just, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> And then we got Mawata, Jabari Mawata from uh, uh, Mawata Ashby, actually. You know what I'm saying? I think the book was like, and she was like, Mawata, oh, okay. <laughs> she, she's just looking around, pointing, choosing like, names. Hey, take this one, take that. It was like, and then it was like, you know, I love Nat Turner. So then she just, we just took Nat Turner's first and last name and put it together. Most people think it's nature, but yeah, Nat Turner, that's what it was. You know what I mean? And then, so when people started coming in the store, it was funny because like, mom, call up there and so she you know she she would call in it's like hey look Corey and um she said uh one day she was like oh you mean Jabari and I said, <laughs> to my mother she was like no I um what you talking about oh, no, I'm calling for Corey she said oh yeah no that's Jabari that's brother Jabari <laughs> so I picked up the phone I can remember that day she was like um, my mom was like um who was that to just um answer the phone and I was like oh the sister she's like why is she saying your name is Jabari I said well yeah she she um she, she, she called me Jabari in here like that. She said, like, that was awfully rude. I named her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even though she's about the movement and everything, but, you know, imagine a parent named you, you know what I mean? Like, You're right. That their name is something else, you know? So, yeah, it was fun. It was interesting. But, yeah, that's how, that's how it all came about. That was Sister Elijah. <laughs> very beautiful. And um, she just, I wasn't really ready, but I guess I was. I guess she was supposed to, you know, do that. You know? Shout out. Shout out, peace and blessings to Sister Elijah. <laughs> in, in her store, what's the name of her store? Um, Flourish, her store Flourish. So okay. Saint in Baltimore, yeah, yeah. So y'all check that okay. out. Yeah. yeah, go give us some support. Where, where's that store at? It's on St. Paul Street, St. Paul and 25th Street in Baltimore. I don't know the address. Y'all can look it up. Um, Flourish on St. Paul Street. What kind of business is it? Um, she do a little bit of everything. I mean, she sell um oils, incense, and do spiritual work and you know all kinds okay. of doula and things. Like that. So you know what I mean. So she, a lot of different things going on there. If you look up Flourish, um, Flourish St. Paul Street, the number should come up in Google. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, last time you were on our show, you know we discussed you know just so, um, a little bit of. Uh, Soul Vibe's history, a little, just a little bit of your personal history and, and some views and some things that you've learned, you know, through your experience with being um, being a community activist, being a nation builder, being a business person, a black businessman specifically. Um, but today, you know, we want to go, we want to get a little bit more into um, Soul Vibe's nation thing, you know. And we, we, we know that... Um, <clears throat> well, we we know that you and I and um our man CeeLo um are co-founders of the real. Uh, and, right. and look, none of this stuff is written down, so you might have to correct me. It is a long time ago. If yeah. I forget some right. stuff, or you you know how you might be remembering something that's a false memory. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh uh, no, that never really happened. <laughs> it's just, you know what I'm saying? But so it was us three and um Malika was there from the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, shout out to Toya. Part part of my rag, these yeah. allergies got my eyes all watery. Yeah. <clears throat> but shout out to um Malika, aka Toya, Latoya. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So so you know, she was there the whole time. So, you know, she one of the co founders too. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <clears throat> yeah. You know, and, and well, I mean, tell tell that story a little bit how we went from Darrell and then became Soul Vibers Nation, and then we want to pinpoint some things about Reality Speaks. Yeah, so I'll say this. Let me say this um, from the start, and I think I might have said this in the last interview, but I really appreciate you, um, honestly, you know what I'm saying, like even, you know, doing this interview on the internet right now, um, and it's best coming from you because me and you have been working together for over 20 years, mm. 20 years relationship, and um, I told you before, like, you was more like, you were probably one more like my spiritual teachers, you know what I mean, and the way that we kind of Went out, you know what I'm saying, and did things. I was more like on the boom, let's do it, let's make it happen. You did more things on a spiritual level, but the two of us together, actually, you know what I mean, we did a lot for Tubman City for Baltimore in general, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate you, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? So this interview couldn't come from a better person, you know what I mean, than coming from you because I mean, we know each other, we know me, you know what I mean, and we've been 
in the, we've been in the movement for years, and I know you since you was a very young man before you got the great salt and pepper beard that you got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before yeah. I got all dignified. <laughs> yeah, before you got all dignified, and you know what I'm saying. But, um, nah, man, but it's, it's it's an honor and a privilege. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate it. Brother's doing, and you know what I mean. I know that um, you know, my brother's not in right now, but um, really appreciate y'all you for actually doing the interview. But um, because man, we got a long, long history. You know now um. Again, yeah, so your question was. Yeah, well, first I want to say, I mean, it's definitely mutual. I, I really appreciate that acknowledgement, you know. Um, shoot. Soul Vibe is basically is a big chunk of my life. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said last time, we got I got five Soul Vibe's babies. Yeah, right, right, you know? right. Exactly. You know, right, but, exactly. but we, talk, we talked about that last time. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so just tell us a little something about, um, like, Real. The real study group, and then, and then how it went into Soul Survivors Nation, and then we're going to yeah. pinpoint some things about reality speaks. So it happened like this, you know. I met you at uh, everyone's place again, everyone's place bookstore, and when I met you, um, you had at the time uh, dealing with the Nation of Islam and the Nation of Islam, and you know we hit it off, we hit it off very well, and you know we started hooking up, we started building, and you know it's just like. We need a real movement in this town. You know what I mean? Like all these fakers, everybody around here faking. Yo, it's time to put something together. And we was like, yo, and we sat there. We was like, let's call it the real. <laughs> we, the real we the realest warriors that ever came on the <laughs> ever came on the planet. You know what I'm saying? We the realest people. Let's make this happen because we the real. All these fakers, man, like the real. That's that's what it's called, the real. And we gonna show people how this movement's supposed to go. And that's what it is. And so that's how we came up with the real. We put a logo behind it. The real kings and queens. We had a man, a male and a female next to each other on the throne. And um, and then we started doing a study group. We started off the Million Man March. That was our kickoff date where we gave out flyers. And I think the next week we had our first meeting, our very first meeting. Like you said, me, you, and Brother CeeLo at the time, and Malika, you know what I mean, during that time. You know what I mean? And we started giving out flyers and flyers and flyers. And that next week we had a meeting and we started meeting and what, it, you know, we didn't have a structure at the time, but we just knew that we was the real, we was trying to get with other the real kings and queens. And we was just like, hey man, look, boom, you know, you come on down, you know what I mean? And we gonna do this, we all leaders, we all gonna do this, we all gonna build. Um, it was good. It was and good. I remember me, you and CeeLo in your mom's basement, Yeah. we said, uh, all right, we we need like a mission statement, you know, a write up. Yeah. And so all three of us, we went home with the assignment to uh to write down our ideas for the real in the, the study group, et cetera. Right. And then like that next week we came back and all of us had our write ups. And then I took them and I and I blended all three of them. Yeah, yeah. And then we came up with our nice little write up. The yeah. real revolutionary study group <laughs> of minds, blah 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 blah. Man, I gotta find you. You still got copies of that? I gotta find that yeah, stuff. I got man. copies of that stuff. I got. I got it. Yeah, I definitely do. I definitely do. And yeah, because that... so good. You was always really good. A really good writer. You know what I mean? Like, um, and so we would always give you the paperwork, and you would come up and combine it together and make it happen. You know what I mean, man? We appreciate that. And you know, all that stuff is still in existence today. We may have switched the name from the real to Soul Vivers. But it's the mm -hmm. same thing, you know what I mean? It's the same write-ups, and that's all we did, you know what I mean? I, you know, I personally have, like, for things that came through Soul Vivers, I've never really switched a lot of that stuff up. Mm -hmm. I've kept the stuff and kept it and made it true, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because you came up with, um, you came up with the slogan, how the warriors feel, if you remember, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it worked out as the real, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it was like, um, how the warriors feel, we would be out there working out, you know, and the spirit is strong, definitely strong. Yeah. You know, all we did was down the line, you know, I me mean, replace it and say how the Africans feel. The mm -hmm. spirit is strong, definitely strong. So, you know, I mean, that that's something that you gave the Survivors Nation. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, with, amongst many other things, because I didn't really change a lot of stuff besides maybe some of the names of, of certain things. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I you know kept true to everything from the beginning. So, you know, we trace that stuff back. It's dead. You know, I mean, the, the original stuff is dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So. so so we had the real, and then eventually the real came became a um, a place of debate 
it was like watching saw another TV up in that gym. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like boom. Every week we came up in there, and it was like, yo, partake in the God and the God living, living his love. And then, you know, and then ultimately ended up where we were just like, you know what I mean? In my mom's basement, like, you know what? Everybody get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know if you remember, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Get yeah. Out, get out of the house. Get out right now. You know what I mean? Like, this it. Get out. Yeah. Yeah, because what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was um we started seeing, okay, we just up in here talking. Yeah. But yeah. in our write-up, it says the real is a study group slash revolutionary movement yeah. of minds. And so we wanted and that 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 does things in the community. That was part of it too. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to start being active in community and doing some stuff. You know, enough of this talking. We got this knowledge. Let's put it into action. Yeah, let's make it happen. You know, and um, and then you know, if my memory serves me, um, that that's when we, we was like, me and you was talking. You know, because we would we would we would get together all the time. We was like, look, we need to put together a plan. A structure, you know, for this mission, okay, and that and that's when I was actually your man Muwada Ashby. I was reading Egyptian yoga, Muwada Ashby book. See, I was already into the chakras, the seven chakras, but he broke down, you know, the seven chakras, and then when I was looking at him, I was like, because some he said about the chakras, how it's like it, they 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 correspond with all aspects of the universe. Right, right. And and they're and they're they're like spiritual energy centers within the body. So I was like, if we have our chakras open and we got what they call Christ consciousness, we will be masters. Right. With, with, with each chakra have have you know represents. And yeah. I said, but then with that mastery, if we have a department or a center or aspects of the organization that correspond with each of the seven chakras. We have a complete structure that would be balanced. Right. And so I, I, I drew up the seven center plan that was corresponding to the seven chakra principles. Right. And so, and so then we came, you know, with the, with the structure and, and the departments, blah, blah, blah. But then the people, most of the people that was there at the time, then we found out they weren't really trying to do shit. They just wanted to, you know, debate. I mean, you know, I don't want to say they ain't want to try to do shit, but it was just a lot of debating about, you know, consciousness and it just things just got people got divided and kind of split. And we started like getting the dumb arguments in your mom's house and in the basement. And that's when it was like, yo, get out of here, man. We kind of, we kind of, we kind of sprung it up on me and you got together and we put together this whole structure. Uh huh. We just took it before them. You know what I mean? They ain't even know about it. We was like, yo, from here on out, this how it's going to be. This was gonna happen, <laughs> right? And this is what it is, you know what I mean? They was like, "Yo, hold up, like, how y'all just gonna bring this to the table, you know?" And it was like, "Yo, this wouldn't." Really Go, not- but then, then we asked everybody else to bring some ideas, and nobody brought none yeah, as far did. as the structure. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So um, we ain't, we ain't just like you know, just so, you know, just bull everybody into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we we brought we brought the plan. We gave everybody the opportunity to bring the plan. Boom. Yeah. Here's the plan. Well, after they after they left, they left, and then the next week we came back, and I think that's when we had, you know, what I mean, um, me, you, Tyrone, Malika, and was it Sunia? Look, Tico- no, Tacola was there. Tacola, not Sunia, not Sunia. AKA, AKA Boomy. <laughs> Boomy. Yeah, exactly. And it was us. Yeah, well, yeah. We're quite Wait, which is which was my future wife now? Wife, definitely. Now ex-wife, so we can say my future ex-wife. <laughs> Right, exactly, exactly. But mother, mother, queen of my uh, five children, definitely. Exactly, exactly. And um, yeah, and then we got together and we said, um, look, let's rename this. And we went away for certain, um, for different, for a certain period of time. We kept coming back, kept coming back, and then it was brother Tyrone who came up with the idea, Soul Vibers. Yeah, we just brainstorm. We was like, damn, I can't think of nothing. Then all of a sudden, he was like, Soul Vibers. Yeah, Soul Vibers. He was like. So yeah, yeah. That's all he didn't even have to explain that. We just like, yeah, yeah. soul vibers. And then what happened was, so after that, we went with soul vibers for years, for a while, and then we took a break for a little while, and then after that, when we came back, because people was like, oh, what y'all just do lectures? Y'all do this and do that, and we was doing more than that. 
And so when we came back again, it was like, hold up, let's add something else to it. Nation, because that's what it is. We're trying to build a nation. We're trying to build. So let's add the nation to it. And that's how it became mm -hmm. Soul Vibes Nation. Mm -hmm. Add the like, oh no, we working at the same time. Not just Soul Vibes, just the concept. Like, no, we doing work and we trying to make things happen. So yeah, that's how it became Soul Vibes Nation. Yeah, definitely. Word, right. word. Definitely. So now, along the way, because we're going to talk about Reality Speaks, because Reality Speaks really, uh, that was really the uh, the mouthpiece of Soul Vibers Nation is really how the community really became came to know who we are and who we were. And um <clears throat> and the reality speaks was, you know, corresponding with the with the throat chakra, you know, speaking our truth. And and we decided that that would be uh where we would make our media, you know, print media, you know, speak, speaking, whatever type of media to teach and spread the information and and so we, we started off during the lecture during the lectures in the community now our first lecture was it um the brother uh what's the brother's name um he wrote, he, hold up now i get confused was it tyrone powers or was it we had the first lecture at your mom's house the brother that wrote the maafa and beyond okay, okay so if you so if you're if you count that besides outside of my mom's house that was that was brother Eric Eric um yeah Robeson I can't remember his African he name. His name he changed his name I can't remember his African name but yeah yeah and he wrote the but healing I, um I, I never found that brother I've been looking for that brother for years and I could never find him he just like went away and you know what I mean and I don't know way yeah that's a brilliant brother matter of fact here's like my favorite book uh to heal the people that's that's his book here that's, man he had man he had like four books I mean that was that was yeah great. And the Maafa and Beyond, I got that somewhere around here. Yeah, we, we read that in study group. That was a great book. Was, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so if you count that one, that would be our first one if you count that. But um, uh, I was outside of mom's house. <clears throat> right. The first lecture would be Tyrone Powers. Where we right. Went, and we charged money. Uh -huh. That would be right. Tyrone Powers, yeah. He would be the yeah, and um, Clarence, uh, Clarence Mitchell IV spoke yeah, there yeah. as well. But wasn't that like a last minute thing? That was like a favor for Tyrone Powers or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Definite. yeah. It, was, it was beautiful. It was it was beautiful, yeah. beautiful event, you know what I mean? And um from there we went to um 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 I think it was Dr. Africa that was next that we did. And I mm. think there it was uh Ashra Quasi and mm. Khaled no, Khaled the Khaled Muhammad, Khaled Abdul Muhammad. Yeah, because that was nineteen ninety seven when we brought Dr. Khaled, right? I think it was 96. 96? The first time, 96. Yeah, 96. Yeah. 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 I remember that because he was like mad late, right? He was real late. He was saying yeah. he was on a turnpike and we was trying to hold it down. And um, <laughs> Brother Jesse McDade, Bay, he spoke. Yeah, I remember that. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sister, sister, sister Akua, Akua. Dr. Akua now. Yeah, yeah. Dr. She, spoke, she spoke. You know. We, got, we, we got all of this stuff on archives. We got all this stuff. Um, stashed the way we we got we got it all we got we, we we got the original documents you know what I mean that's why a lot of these cats running around if you remember um 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 saying that they created this whole thing about Tubman City and all this stuff you know what I mean like oh Tubman City we got it filed and all this stuff and I'm like wait that was wait, Bar that was Bar Shango right Doctor Bar Shango came up with that what was our teacher but mm -hmm. so uh, they should popularize it you know yeah what I mean? yeah definitely and we ran with Tubman City and we could show the evidence and the documents from anybody. Who want to challenge mm -hmm. us with that? So I said, mm -hmm. you know, the only two talking about they didn't got it um um uh, uh, legalized and all this other kind of stuff. Like, look, I mean, what? Because we because we've been using it. You said they legalized it. Yeah, they yeah they they took it and they, they copyrighted uh, the joint. Got copyrighted and all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Oh wow. Who? who, who maybe nah, we talk I, later. I don't know who did yeah, that. I ain't, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna name names right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they talk about they came up with this whole Tubman City and all this other kind of stuff, and it's like. Hold up, you know, my, my first of all, our teacher came up with that, and then mm -hmm. we took it and popularized it everywhere. Everybody, nobody was using Tubman City before. Right. Our nation was using that under our, mm -hmm. teacher, under our teacher's influence. You know what I mean? Right. So we took that, and you can find many of the old lectures. I can prove it. You you can't find them saying it because they didn't even have organizations back then. Yeah, and that's one of the other people we brought, Dr. Barashango. We brought him a couple times, right? We brought him a bunch of times. Dr. Yeah. Barashango, you know what I mean? And took it, and we we actually produced his. His joint with him talking, and you know what I mean, and and, and with, with the music. But Tubman City, we ran with that, and it was Tubman City, Tubman City. We was even writing 
Tubman City when we were sending the mail out to people mm -hmm. and writing mm -hmm. it on the stamp. They said it we stamped in Tubman City. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tubman City, Maryland. That's how we that's how we was doing it. But yep. All that stuff people talk about, man. I ain't you'll miss me with all of that stuff. I'll use it. You just gonna have to sue me. Cause you know what I mean? You know, that's crazy. Documented. Well, look, it's documented. We can we oh, can it's documented. It's we documented, got so we got it. <laughs> I didn't even know people was on it like that, oh, trying to trying to take they, that. Running, no, they running with it. People running with it everywhere. I, don't, I like I, said, I don't mind people running with it, but when they talk about you can't use it, I'm like, wait, man, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. y'all ain't even come up with that. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, we was the first ones to bring Bobby Hemmett to Baltimore too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. First ones, Bobby Hemmett. Yeah, definite, definite. You know who's some who's some other people. Because I know Oscar Quasi, that was, that was a big deal. He was a big deal, you know, the times that he came. Sister Soldier, yep. Sister Soldier, you know what I mean? She, she came right when Biggie had just got killed. Yeah, she came right when Biggie just got killed. And um, um, that was big. And we actually, I think when she came, we did something with somebody who passed. It was Sean Freeland or something that got him killed during that time. Um, mm. And we, we, we did, because we did something called Tubman City News. Mm -hmm. Remember, we had a segment about the thing called Tupper City mm -hmm. News. I think now, um, um, Sister Sister Lynn, Sister Lynn Pender is doing Tupper City News. But we had a segment like, wait, oh, okay. Back. Shout out to Lynn. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Lynn Pender. You know what I mean? I, I met I met her through the uh when she was doing the Youth Warriors. Yeah, yeah, Youth Warriors. Yeah, yeah. She was doing Youth Warriors, and she she had it jumped off, but she had something called Tupper City News. I don't know if it's still um just right now, but um Tupper City News. But we did Tupper City News like in the nineties. You know what I mean? You know, in, in, in the late 90s, so uh, more than mid 90s, we did Tubman City News. So, you know, I mean, you know how it is, man. We used to get on the trains. We used to promote. We used to hand out flyers on, yep. the, train, on the subway, um, doing whatever, man. We had our we used to be in the streets with the megaphone. With the megaphone. We was out there. We go in the worst neighborhoods in the community, like, hey, look, y'all need to stop what y'all doing right now. This is what we saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Black people stop killing each other. <laughs> yep. You know, uh, uh, when we get out of Poplar Grove and Emerson Avenue, get out the mm -hmm. car, and you know, guys, they listening because they really want this information. Right. The guy, got, you know, what I'm saying, can I hold your megaphone? Got the megaphone. Nah, I remember. Hey, look, y'all niggas need to listen to what these niggas are saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> niggas saying some real shit. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's I mean, that's part of the hey, that's part of the history. But we would yeah. actually go and drive by with the megaphone outside mm -hmm. the window. We would press the thing. Yep. I'm in the community and be like, listen up, black man and black woman. We are not our own enemy. We should love each other. We should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's hey, that's part of the history, man. That's what we did. Yeah, man, you bring back memories, man. We went, we went to the <laughs> we went to the worst neighborhoods and we did that. I mean, that's, that's something. Being on that train, we had we had our um pamphlet with the holidays on it. Oh, um, oh yeah. You know, uh uh I, 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 that was inspired by Bar Shango. Yeah. You know, like during Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. we putting out information yeah. and stuff. You yeah. know. But look, shout out um to Kamal, brother Kamal, because before we started the real, you was actually an African World Study Group, right? Man, I was with African World Study Group. That's where I started at. Um, Kamal was a um a, a family friend. He actually took my sister to the prom in uh eleventh or twelfth grade. I forgot which grade it was. But I knew him because he would come through the house sometimes. But when I became conscious, I actually um, I went to everyone's place one day and I saw him in there and he had a book in his hand. And I was like, oh, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, 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 hey. And he said, what you doing here? I said, man, just trying to get some books or something. And he was like, hey, man, you should come out to our group, the, you know, African World Study Group. And I went there. And as I went there, I was the youngest person there. At the time, I was 19 years old. And, um, you know, and he wasn't too much older than me. I think he was about maybe 22. During the time he was he was facilitating the um, actual study group, but everybody else was you know what I mean it was probably like maybe thirty maybe late twenties and stuff like that things of that nature and I kept telling him like man I gotta get these younger people up in here we gotta get them and he was very encouraging that brother was you know what I'm saying I always give him credit for encouraging me to start my own group and bring people together so he was like man you might want to start your own group you know I mean won't you do that I help you start it. He didn't, he, he wasn't trying to just keep me there in the bubble with an African World Study Group. He was like, go start your own thing. You get the own people, I help you with the flyers. So even the first flyers for the real that we drew up, you know, Kamal helped us draw those things up. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, my first radio interview, Brother Kamal took me on my first radio interview. So, I mean, he was the first person to give me care. Because he was like, start your own group. And I was like, start my own group. 
And he was like, man, he said, yeah, just, I mean, just do it. I'm like, man, I ain't got no money. I ain't got, I just thought it took a whole lot to start a group, you know? Mm -hmm. But you know, as I would meet people, and as I meet, met people like yourself, because you remember as we met, I would take you to Kamal's house and we would I have remember. stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? So Hold on, but I think what he used to say I was uh floating in the in the clouds or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Universal yeah. in the cloud. I forgot what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Floating, yeah, floating, yeah. Universal floating, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So yeah, so I mean, yeah, but, but shout out to Brother Kamal because he was very instrumental. I know he influenced me and he influenced us a whole lot. Yeah. And matter of fact, when we came up with the name and we did the transition into Soul Vibers, um, he actually, um, he conducted a little ritual ceremony for us. We had all white. We was in the basement. He was drumming. Oh, yeah. Remember that? I about that. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. You know, that we made that official transition. Right, 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 right. You know? it, was all, it was all unity. It was love. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We had our, our little struggles, but it was all, I mean, when you go back and tell the story, it was all love, though. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, over the years, you know, I mean, we we did like like we had a seven center program, so we did things on all seven centers. But we don't got you know enough time to go into all that detail tonight. But over the years, you know, as far as the lecture scene, now you observed some changes over the years. So, you know, from then to now, um, things have been going on in the community. Um, you had some things you may have wanted wanted to uh, address about that. Man, the lecture scene. Let me tell you. See, when we started, when we started off 20-something years ago, we had Khaled Muhammad. We had Dr. Barashango. We had Del Jones. We mm -hmm. had Dr. Francis Chris Wellsen. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, 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 who, who am I missing? It's a lot of different people that's been gone. You know what I mean? We had some critical people that were there during that time. And let me tell you me reaching out to those people during that time. I, I reach out to them, find out their address. I found out their number, find out everything. We ain't had no internet. We ain't had no Facebook back then. Nope. We'll track them down. And when yeah. we did, you know, oftentimes I would write them a letter or I would just talk. I'll be, them. I'll be trying to figure out how you get in contact with all these people. <laughs> Man, I was tracking people down. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I you, was, you were straight stalking. You got such and such, and I would track from a friend to a friend. I would track them down. I was going to find you. I was going to find you. You wasn't the way you were going to get away from me. So mm -hmm. I would track these people down and I would call them and I would say, hey, look, um, you know, talk to them and say, look, man, look, we're a young organization. We love you. We love y'all. We want you to come to Baltimore. We ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but what we can do, we can sell tickets for the event. We can do this and we can, you know I mean? We can try to give you a certain amount of money and boom. And they would feel my spirit because it was, it was sincere. It was sincere, and I've developed friendships with all of these people and these different scholars, you know? So even to this day, when I do events and stuff like that with different scholars, like, you know, we got a certain understanding about events when we do events and all, because that's, that, that's just a long relationship that we had. But, you know what I mean? But so, that, so back in the day, I'm going to tell you, Dr. Khaled Abdul-Muhammad was a, was a stand-up guy. He was a beautiful guy. He was hardcore, yeah. But y'all don't know his heart, though. His heart was such... Dr. Khalid would be speaking and he would say, and there's a bad black man by the name of Ishaka Musa Barashango. Mm -hmm. Another black man by the name of Naeem Akbar. And another bad sister, fine sister by the name of um, um, Dr. Patricia Newton. <coughs> you know, and he would always big up people and bring them along the way, you know what I'm saying? And, and add them in as if there was this huge movement that was going on. And he did that all over with different people, you know what I'm saying? Even with you, you know, the bad brother, brother Jabari, one bad black man. You know, that <laughs> damn, I must be, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he would make you feel, he would make you feel good, you know what I'm saying, about yourself. And he really was all about unity, black unity, and black people coming together. And you had Bernard Shaw, and we just had him talk, he would always talk about other scholars. They would always add these other scholars in as if there was a movement, and you had all these other folks that we would bring into town and they would always big up each other as a big ne network. So now what I see is now the lecture scene right now that's been totally corrupted. I don't know if it's corrupted just by it's been infiltrated, you know what I mean, by the FBI, CIA or whatever. I'm sure it has been, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's mm -hmm. some people that's agents inside the cause, you know what I mean, um, different things or whatever, but it's a mess. It's a mess right now. 
Then you got people, you know what I'm saying? Guys charging three, four, five thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? For lectures, right. you know what I mean? Different things. Now, look, I'm not saying don't charge that to the churches, to people who can afford it, to the schools that can afford it, the different folks that can afford it, but for community organizations, that's not what you charge. You know, and I've worked with the best of them. We work with the best of them. We work with Dr. Ben and you name him, Dick Gregory. You know what I mean? And and, and God bless his spirit because I miss him right now. Because mm -hmm. right now, stuff that's going on, I would have, I probably would have brought that Dick Gregory probably two times already this year for the mm -hmm. things that's going on. So I miss that brother because he was always a great go-to guy and humble. Because Dick Gregory had millions of dollars. He dealt with millions and millions of dollars, and he mm -hmm. was. Humble. Did Gregory be with Oprah Winfrey one day, and he'd be with Jabari over in the hood at Sojourner Douglas another day. Mm -hmm. Humble. But then now you got some of these lectures, lecturers right now because people start calling their name out, saying this and saying that, and this person, this person. They ain't dealing with no millions. They dealing with a couple, you know what I'm saying, a couple hundred thousand dollars. And oh my God, they big, you know what I mean? And they are mm -hmm. the movement now. They, the mm -hmm. move, they, became, they became the movement. The movement moves through them. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with a lot of these cats and I watched them just become corrupted. Mm. Corrupted by so-called what they think is power. And I just watched them just go away from the community and become so destructive. I don't know if the FBI, CIA would have put a program on these people to make them, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, and you know, I ain't never believed in a lot of stuff with Bobby, Bobby Hemmer say about the cloning thing or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some of them clones. You know what I mean? Maybe they took some of them and made them cry. I don't know. You you know you know what my, you know what I think. It's, it's it's battle rap culture, in the, in the, in this conscious uh community situation, where you know battle rap, you know it's about of course the bravado, it's about the ego, it's about you know you know just being that dude or being that woman. You know what I'm saying? And when we take like how the cats, you know, always you know. It's nothing wrong with a debate, but when you're always coming at people in a, in a way where you 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 know you're constantly putting them down, and the emphasis becomes more of you know the beef, quote unquote, more than than the information, you know, then that's battle rap culture. Yeah, and it's a clear influence. You know, I'm 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 this, I'm that. You ain't that. You ain't this. And you know, I'm going to talk about everything that 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 you do that is wrong. You know, I'm going to put gossip out about you. I'm going to just disrespect you as much as I can. And oh yeah, you know, can't forget about the information I'm giving you too. But I think it dilutes the information. It, it causes a big distraction, man. And it, and it weakens the quality. So now, you know, that's part of the reason now people don't want, don't even like the phrase of the conscious community. Right. Like, you know, I'm, matter of fact, I was you know, looking on the internet today, you know, people were like, what's the conscious community? You know, yeah. what was what, that? And then, you know, and then you got the name, the whole Teppers, you know. Yeah. You know, you're just another whole Tepper. And that's, and, that, and, that's, and that's horrible because I think it was a specific program to make people start feeling like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to identify with the conscious community. I ain't, what is that? What's the conscious community? The whole Teppers, the whole, you know what I mean? All that's disgusting to me. It's mm -hmm. disgusting because ain't nothing wrong with whole Tepper. Whole Teppers, that's reconnecting with our culture. You that's know? right. Saying that we conscious, in, in a way, it's nothing wrong with that. But what they have, just like they've been doing, I see throughout, throughout the years, they put a certain stigma on that now. You know what I mean? And now everybody running around because, look, let me tell you something. You either are or you ain't. You know what I'm saying? And what a lot of these cats have come on the scene that have done, have given people the middle ground. So they can be like, oh, I can be conscious, but I can still say, fuck a bitch. Fuck these bitches and these whores. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so what a lot of people want, they want to have that middle ground where they can still, they can be a nigga, but they can be conscious. And when somebody um, shows that, you know what I mean, they might have African gear on and they real serious, they be like, man, see them fake ass, whole tap ass niggas. But really, they the fake whole tap niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they the ones that's hiding in the gray area. They want to see right. the other guy and be like, oh, look, man, I bet you that nigga doing something. And in his mind, he thinking like, he probably doing the same shit I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You the one out there, you know what I mean, fuck a bitch and still selling drugs and got packages on the street and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? You know, uh -huh. They hide in this great area that makes it safe. So a lot of lecturers that's on the scene 
makes it comfortable for them to still do that. You know what I mean? Oh, I can still be a pimp and freak bitches out. You know what I mean? No disrespect, because I don't call women bitches. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I'm just saying what, what it is. You know what I mean? Freak bitches out. You know what I mean? I can still do that shit. And at the same time, I'm still, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm really about this shit. But them niggas who really be wearing them koofies and all that shit, man, them niggas ain't about that shit, man. They whole teppers, yo. Mm-hmm. That's right. What I'm saying is there's been a whole lane created for half-ass revolutionaries. Half-steppers, there's a whole lane created. So now there's a divide, just like with us, between people who's in the movement, who really doing things, got things moving, and these half people who people were giving them a pass to be like, I'm in one day and one day I'm out. One day I'm in, one day I'm out. One day I'm I'm hardcore. I'm talking about, yeah, police brutality. One day I'm like, man, fuck them cops, man. I'm about this shit, man. You know what I mean? This shit, them niggas phony shit, yo. Man, nah, man. You know what I mean? Ain't no middle ground. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that to say that we don't all make mistakes. We all make mistakes and we all got different things that we do, even as a hotepa, as a Christian, as a Muslim, as anything that we stand on spiritually. We, you know, we all make mistakes. We're going to make mistakes. You know what I mean? So all these people, these gray area people do, they hide in the background and watch it for a person to make a mistake and they be like, oh, see, he made yep. He made a mistake, ah, and he a whole tepper, and he made a mistake, ah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? nah, man, uh, uh-uh. uh, what are you doing? Let's see your put your life out there, you know what I mean? What you doing behind the scene? Nah, you in the movement, be in the movement for real. You feel what I'm saying? Stop right. hiding and then just trying to find the contradictions in other people. Find the contradictions in yourself and fix those contradictions instead of just trying to point out those other people. But what I'm saying is, there's lecturers and people who giving these people space to be able to hide, and you know what I'm saying? Mm. And so they call, you know I me mean, these whole teppers and all that kind of stuff. I don't like it, man. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, and if you're listening right now, all that whole tep bullshit that y'all talking about, that's a positive thing. Stop all that bullshit. That's right. Yeah. Straight from the mouth of Jabari. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, uh, man, it's already it's already at the top of the hour. Yeah, you know, man, we got man, we just gonna keep having you back, man, because we got a lot to build about. Oh, man, you know so what I'm saying? Cool, man. So much but more. you know, but before we close out, so what do you think? What do you think then the lecture scene needs now? You know, to 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 really get things in in, in better alignment, make them, I guess, more 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 respectable, more respectful, more responsible, et cetera. Well, right now we haven't done a lecture, and, and uh, we did like maybe one lecture this year. You know, we know we would do a bunch of them, but we've been actually doing some things to try to, um, you know, uh, rebuild the lecture scene. And you know, what I mean, and folks like yourself who got that history because he, you have age right now. You got the history behind you. You got the knowledge. And we're going to do things to rebuild, you know what I'm saying, back to a respectable lecture circuit. Um, you know, I mean, like, man, I, you know, look, I mean, I cursed you. Not, you know what I mean? I apologize if I offend anybody for cursing in this broadcast. You know what I mean? But I curse sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and I do curse. But, man, getting up in front of the people and just, you know what I mean, oh, it, 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 oh, 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 you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that ain't, come on, man. You ain't never seen Malcolm do that. You ain't never seen Dr. Khalid Muhammad do that. You ain't never seen, you know what I mean? And these were hardcore people. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man, you know what I mean? You gotta come with this, come at this joint with class. You know what I mean? If I want my children to listen to this, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want my children to listen to some of y'all. That's why I can't even put some of the stuff on right now that people are saying right now in the shop. I got a barber shop. I can't even put it on because people are like, man, these mom up and act in it, bit it, bit it, bit it, bit it, you know what I mean? Can't play it. Mm-hmm. Because people come in here and they bring their children in here. You feel what I'm saying? Always think about the babies. How you can get this thing. Yeah, be hardcore, but be hardcore to the point it's babies, it's children and stuff around. You know what I mean? And remember that all the time. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? So we got to add some pride, some dignity, some respect, and some unity back into this thing. We gotta add that, you know what I mean? That's what's up. And when you see people that's... Uh, that's been infected or whatever and got that virus and that's going crazy and they just think it's all about them. We got to change that, man. Change that. And then sometimes we got to challenge that at the same time. Not to be having no beef, but we got to challenge that, man. I mean, it's people doing stuff I ain't never seen a lecture do. A lecturer do at all. Mm. I, I wonder sometimes what if Khaled Muhammad was here today with some of these cats that's on the lecture scene right now, what would he be saying to them? 
Man, that would they, be- I, I don't think they'd be behaving this way. If they he- probably wouldn't because they know he would have laid their ass out. You know? Yeah, they wouldn't be behaving that way. Yeah. You know? But we're going to get it together. No doubt. No, we're no, going to no, get no, it no, together. No, no. We're going to get it together and we're working on it. You know what I mean? So when we come out and even, you know what I mean, before the end of this year and we start banging out these lectures and we start getting it back in, 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 in the place or whatever, um, man, it's going to be big. It's going to be good. You know what I mean? Because we, like I said, we ain't gone nowhere. We just slowed down a little bit to try to revamp things. And, um, man, it's going to be good. You know, you're going to be one of those people that's in that series. Ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, we're coming for it. No doubt. We're coming forth with some healing bombs, some healing medicine. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But look, that's a great note to end it on. Um, definitely appreciate you. Um, again, give your give your contact information. Oh, also, um, we talked about these, you know, these old lectures back in the day. Still relevant, so we can't even call them old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We still you know, got- but but I don't know, we 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 started when with the VHS days, but yeah, 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 since yeah, yeah. they've been converted to DVD, that's right, that's and right. I, don't, I don't know if they're streaming now, you know, this thing be moving so fast. I, yeah. You know, I, I said something about downloading the other day, and a younger person was like, oh, you mean stream? Right. Uh, like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? But how can people get some of these uh, classic lectures, reality speak lectures and yeah, events? We got, we got hundreds of lectures um, by many of your great scholars, so Again, just hit me at daddy, D-A-D-D-Y, daddy, Watoto at gmail.com. Just hit me up and, um, you know what I mean, we'll get you a catalog so that you can see, you know, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So definitely I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Um, I definitely pray. We definitely pray that you receive something of some benefit, you know. We're going to continue to bring these dynamic people on our show. And um, again, go to our site, www.qualityheartbeats.com, and check out our products. You know, we got some good products for your quality of your life. Our specific product is uh, Sweet and Tight. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to close out. Hold up one second. Uh, let, can I say this real quick? Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you live in Conscious Heads Barber and Boot Camp. Actually, that's where oh, okay. I'm this, broad, this broadcast. That you see behind us, you see little pictures right here. The, you know, Egyptian cutting hair. You know what I mean? But y'all. Oh, okay. That's what. Oh, we cut. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that's just right off the temple right there. You know what I mean? But um, you know what I mean? We 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 in the boot camp right now. But we're talking about that. You know what I mean? As we come back another time. Yeah, we definitely we're gonna talk about that yeah. next time. Before we get to that, next time we're talking about why Toto from the Nile. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Oh yeah, that's it. Woo. You know that 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 was that's a big deal what you did yeah. with the girls, man. Yeah, yeah you know, no doubt. no doubt. We're gonna rap about that. All right, fam. So we're gonna close out with the commercial. Peace of blessings. Peace. Experience the wonders of sweet and tight. We follow nature's way by going deep cellular level to pull toxins out of your body leaving you fresh as spring a freshness that carries the hypnotic fragrance of pheromones producing a sweet surrender when used regularly this special blend of fruit extracts will allow you and your partner to enjoy the continued sweetness of your feminine nectar. Order now at www.qualityheart.